Build for joy, not work. How building out of passion boosts your craftsmanship. Hi, my name is Casper from Nordcraft, and I'm here to read a small article I made last week. It's about how building out of fun and passion actually boosts your craftsmanship. Let's uh, let's have a listen. Back to the 90s. In 1999, the Magic Joshi Theatre's Napster launched, The Soprano is debuting on HBO, Family Guy and Futurama air for the first time, The Y2K Panic has just begun, and Britney Spears just dropped Baby One More Time. I'm in sixth grade, and my life is all about football, PlayStation, and Counter-Strike. It's David Beckham, Sony Discman, FIFA 99, MTV, and Ninjas in Pajamas, a legendary Counter-Strike team from Sweden, as I recall. I'm hunched over my family's shared computer, a beige and bulky beast whose CRT screen swallows the entire disk, leaving barely enough space for the mouse to twitch a few centimeters. I'm glued to the loading screen of Championship Manager, a football manager simulator. Team names stream across the screen in bright flickering colors. Swansea, Cowdenbeath, Leighton Orient, as I wait for the game to start. I don't know it yet, but this is where my passion for software and UI design starts. A dream of pixels. The clunky, raw aesthetics of Championship Manager 97-98 are forever etched into my mind. Its flow, order and game mechanics turned out to be more addictive than anything I've experienced before. This was it. This was what I wanted to do, create thrilling experiences on computer screens for people to enjoy. I would learn, improve, and one day join the mythical creators who built such magic for a living. Of course, that wasn't the exact plan of form on that particular Tuesday afternoon, but it was the journey I slowly embarked upon. I didn't care much for storylines or 3D graphics, but I was captivated by the on-screen toolbars of StarCraft, Diablo, and Counter-Strike, and of course, Championship Manager. I couldn't wait to be a grown-up and work alongside people with the same mindset, vision and passion. Surely those people must be the happiest people on the planet. Oh boy, was I in for a disappointment. Jira killed the web development star. Fast forward 26 years and I'm looking at a totally different reality. I've been lucky enough to experience building great UIs for amazing products, but when I look around me, I see a world of good enough. Don't get me wrong, I don't consider myself better than the next web designer, but looking at the average website or web app shipped, I can see that they weren't exactly forged out of excitement. Today, web development feels like fast fashion, mass produced, trend chasing, disposable. More websites and web apps are produced now than ever before, but too many seem lifeless, rushed and forgettable. So who is to blame? First off, constant deadlines and stakeholder pressure often strip web designers and software engineers of the very joy that drew them in. When you're always sprinting, there's no time for experiments to refine or push boundaries. You start aiming for what's safe instead of what's right. Second, the wave of wipe coding completely misses the point of creation. The only consolation is that they were never meant for professionals or for those driven to build. Only for those who simply want a piece of internet real estate. Shipping software has become about shipping something rather than shipping the right thing. And somehow everyone is fine with that. Speed is mistaken for quality as if the faster you build, the better the product must be. I built three SaaS businesses during the weekend. Congratulations, you missed the point completely. All work and no play. In the rush to ship faster, creativity didn't just get left behind, it got run over. Meaningful, unique ideas were replaced by soulless clones. Remember when half the internet had copy-pasted Linear's landing page? Yeah, that was rough, but we're still doing it. The references might have changed, but great design today often just means copying whatever's trending this particular week. Ensure style is hard, it takes actual effort to create something original. And if you fail, who's paying for your little art project? But here's the thing. If you only build to hit deadlines or keep stakeholders quiet, your skills will stagnate. You stop pushing, you stop evolving, and you settle for being competent instead of being exceptional. Yeah, that's how we ended up in a creative drought where each website is just the same thing in a slightly different flavor. And that's not even the worst part. The real tragedy, 
an entire generation of web designers and software engineers may never know the joy of making something truly meaningful, something that solve an actual problem instead of just bumping a conversion rate up by a quarter percent. And I'm not pretending I'm above it. I built my fair share of forgettable cookie quarter websites, but I might have found a way out. Switch on your passion. The fix isn't complicated, but it does require a shift in mindset and a bit of spare time. You have to create something from the ground up. Start with a blank canvas and just style something, just write something. I know side project aren't exactly a new idea, but for this to really work, it has to be something with only one agenda to make you happy. Not something you can spin into a startup, not something you could sell to Google so you can quit your horrible yet very, very, very well-paying job. No, it should exist purely for fun and for fun alone. When you approach it this way, you stop obsessing over features and start focusing on your product's feel, quality, quirks, and long-term value. Build for yourself or out of genuine passion, because when you do, you naturally push the details further than any spec shit would ever do. Suddenly, spending two hours perfecting the right hover effect makes sense because the outcome doesn't matter. The process is everything. It's in the constant improvement you make, the repetition, the refinement, and the care you pour into the work because you want to, not because you have to. Enjoy taking your time, enjoy the process, enjoy building. What is craftsmanship? If you build long enough out of pure fun, something starts to happen. You stop just making things and start crafting them. That's where passion turns into skill and skill turns into something deeper, craftsmanship. Craftsmanship isn't just about quality. It's the quiet joy of shaping something with your own hands and mind and knowing it could only have come from you. It means mastering your skills and knowing your tools and materials inside out. Noticing and caring for the small details others might overlook. Taking pride in your work rather than cutting corners for speed and consistently producing results that meet your own high standards. When you work out of passion, you enter a flow state where time disappears. That joy is amplified when you step back and see the finished work, knowing it reflects your values and care. Make something worth making. Build something out of joy because when you do, you'll never settle, and your craftsmanship will grow in ways no deadline ever could. Right now, I'm juggling my web development engine project called Norcraft. It's incredible, uh, but building Norcraft with Norcraft, yes, we do that, is a challenge. Mm, real users need guidance, best practices matter, and features have to make sense. It's challenging, yet rewarding. But still, nothing beats building something just for fun, something with no business value at all. Sure, it could be repurposed for marketing, but that's not the point. The point is that it's real, it's genuine, and it's fun. So what am I building? Yeah, I'm going back to the 90s. Recreating my favorite childhood PC game, Championship Manager 97-98, with its clunky buttons, quirky misalignments, and basic animations. I'm doing it to chase the feelings I had back then. I can feel it working already. The closer I get to enabling the right font weight, spacing and sudden movements, the more that old smile comes back. You can try it here on cm9798.app. It's work in progress and it will be forever work in progress. Next up, mm, I might be building a Casio G-Shock simulator, a Teletext website or a Tamagotchi. Because when you build purely for fun, you rediscover the spark that first pulled you into creation. The same thrill I felt staring at that old clunky CRT screen in 1999. It's in that joy, curiosity, patience and obsession with tiny details that the foundation of true craftsmanship is laid. This is where passion stops being a hobby and starts shaping the work only you could make. That's where real craft begins. Thank you very much for listening and see you next time. See you guys. Bye bye.